Hey guys, thank you so very much for joining me on this other exciting episode of Hot and Juicy with me, your host, Miss Meng. Hope you guys are doing fine and ready for some real infotainment. If that's the case, then take the best position wherever you're watching me presently. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notification. Without wasting any second out of the beautiful minutes we're going to be spending here, let's get it popping with the first segment of this program coming up right away. Welcome back, guys. Jovi confiscated the internet this week with an exclusive interview it offered at the Duala Music Festival. Says his DNA is in all Cameroonian songs and claims that all Maloc songs are his songs. And equally said he is one million times better and doper than Stanley Eno. It was crazy, guys. Watch this. When you look at the music of everybody that is rapping in this country, my DNA is inside. That's clear. Mm -hmm. All of my lock songs is one of my flows. Mm -hmm. In course of the interview, Jovi showed how pained he still is after Stan Eno's acceptance speech during the MTV Awards seven years ago. Over to you guys, check this. So, you, my junior man, instead of saying that, well, I'm the hot one now, you say, oh, what has Kota done? What has Jovi done? Yeah. Before they wanted to come here, what have they done? I'm the one that's making this now, making this now. But when you listen to Hepe, that's my flow. That's my lyrics. That's my ideas. No one quad and stuff is Kota. It's just, it's my shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he pushes me to say it's my shit because of how he's acting. Okay, guys, do you agree with Jovi's claim that his DNA is in all Cameroonian musics? Let me know in the comment section. Cameroonian comedian Oboida Komi calls out music group Rhythms for unprofessionalism towards his wife and artist Mimi Baya. The comedian is accusing the music group for producing songs for his wife with stolen beats and says it has been going on for years now. Watch this, guys. And listen, at two of them be feed blinking, and they're the same people, rhythms. More than once, more than twice, you guys have worked a song, written a song, produced a song for Mimi Baya, and she keeps being attacked by many people who have stolen the beat or have done the song they have done before with the same rhythms. I've got proofs. I've got screenshots. I mean, guys, what can really be done to solve this issue? It's really aching that you pay a producer for a song and he gives you a song or beat he has given to more than 20 people. Is it that our Cameroonian music producers are running out of inspiration or what? So retired Cameroonian football legend Samuel Eto decided to pay a visit to the southwest region of his country only for him to be attacked by some Cameroonians. People accusing him of being insensitive to the crisis of that region after he insinuated there is total peace over there when he said he is walking without a bodyguard. Waka lie or side because two gendarme officers were caught beside him. And things went off when he was caught speaking French to a soya vendor. Watch this guy. Hello? So what people really wanted from Samuel Eto was to hear him speak English, since he was in an English-speaking zone. Was that really an issue? I mean, because the soya vendor equally responded in French too. So what was the deal there? Since Cameroon is bilingual, means we speak both English and French, right? So we are free to use any of the languages. So I don't really see the problem in that. Only small soya where Eto go chop for limbe, now he make a vassero one craze everywhere, to the extent of calling Eto a classless villager. Oui, c'est parce que je, je crois qu'on est arrivé au bout de notre euh, amitié, frère. Là, je ne peux pas. Tu as dépassé tous les principes du général. Tu as dépassé tout ce contre quoi je me bats. Le, le mépris de la souffrance, le mépris de la vie, le mépris de la douleur des gens. Non, tu allais te pavaner, petit villageois. Les villageois ne sont pas mes amis, frère. 
près de mon ami, il faut avoir un minimum de classe. Et là, tu vois, tu n'as pas seulement manqué de classe, Sammy. That's always one of calling out people for their mistakes, but very much criticized for insulting them while doing it. Was going this far really necessary? He even cut off his friendship with Samuel Eto. Can you imagine? Eto will all man the fight for being friends with them. Never Vassero, they work a caution everywhere. I mean, is this Vassero the French version of CY International? I'm just thinking out loud, guys. Cameroonian artists have been snubbed once more by the Grammy Awards. The 2022 Grammy nomination have been released and it's a pity that no Cameroonian artist made it to the list of this international award. This is not the first time such is happening. First, it was the BET, now the Grammy Award. What are our Cameroonian artists not doing right? Should we start sending petitions to this international award, reminding them that in Cameroon, we also do have great artists? It's always about others, guys. For the Grammy this year, seven African artists have been nominated. We have Risk Kid, who got two nominations. We have Thames, who got her first Grammy nomination. Bonner Boy 2 is part of the game. We have Angelique Kidjo from Benin. We have Black Coffee from South Africa. We have Rocky Dawoni from Ghana. All have been nominated for the Grammy this year. Now, guys, my question is, when will it happen for this new school of Cameroonian artists? Question for the gods. Lionel Messi just won his seventh Ballon d'Or ahead of Cristiano Ronaldo and other world best players like Lewandowski, Kylian Mbappé, Haaland and others. It was a total joy for all Lionel Messi's fans when he was pronounced winner of this year's edition of the Ballon d'Or, winning ahead of a great player like Cristiano Ronaldo. Guys, it was really, really chock because Cristiano did not even near the first three positions. Because Messi was seconded by Robert Lewandowski, followed by Chelsea player Jorginho Frello. And my question to you is, do you see any Cameroonian player winning the Ballon d'Or in the nearest future? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Nigerian superstar Wizkid has started his Made in Lagos Europe tour and he was mad at the London O2 Arena. Wizkid had a series of three sold-out concerts at the London O2 Arena and made history. It was really epic, guys. He brought on the stage superstars like Chris Brown, Skepta, Thames. It was really epic. Watch this. <laughs> There's a lot to learn from these guys. Risk It is really breaking records. He was recently awarded African Artist of the Year by the Apple Music 2021 Awards. If Cameroonian artists want to reach this level, then they really have to level up big time, guys. Work really big for this industry. Okay, guys, that's all we have for the first segment of this program. Please let me know in the comment section what you think about everything I just said here. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. It is time for us to have it more entertaining with our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week. Go nowhere, guys. I'll be right back. Welcome back guys, opening our playlist this episode is this brand new release titled Aimé Se Souffre from Cameroonian Arts Full. Popping up at the ninth position is Keep Pushing from L. Jones. Love one another even if they do you wrong. Put your faith in God and everything will be alright. Don't you trust your brother then because it's a good time. Walk and pray then surely you will lift it up. Show your pops up at the eighth position with his brand new release, Popcorn. Take to the candy shop. When God don't to stop. Come on. Bolo from these clicks occupies the seventh position. If you be sick of the money, fall over my man and beg. Don't call me for day, my ID fed your hotline for that level win up, boy. Time no day, no play with your hustle, even if it. Mr. Ella pops up at the sixth position with his brand new song titled Passengers. Everybody get a life to leave. Live your own and just believe. Say what will be, what shall it be? 
Popping up at the fifth position is you and me from the beautiful Yolanda. Loving you, I'm loving you, I'm loving you. Mine comes up at the fourth position with Shwazi. Shabasiko from Rhythms occupies the third position. Popping up at the second position is this beautiful collaboration from Blanche Bailey featuring Fanny Ko and it is titled Dudu. Topping our playlist this episode is this beautiful song still banging and trending everywhere. It is titled La Galère from Kosi. Watch and enjoy. Give me the mic, yo. La Okay guys, unfortunately we have come to the end. This is where we draw the curtains for today's exciting episode of your favorite show Hot and Juicy. Thank you so very much guys for watching. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. For more information on the Cameron entertainment industry, follow us. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's 237 Showbiz and very much active on our website too. Make sure you're part of us on Telegram. It's 237 Showbiz. And follow our new division, 237 Showbiz too. Studios. This was Hot and Juicy, and I was here to entertain you. You can call me Miss Bay. Goodbye, guys. Still have a good one. Jovi confiscated.